Fire crews have spent the night battling four blazes threatening the central west with conditions expected to deteriorate even further in the coming days. The RFS is warning road users to be wary of where you pull over with at least one fire believed to be the result of a roadside phone call. Thick black smoke pours out from the dense mountain ranges as the fire continues to tear through hectare after hectare. Nine tankers rush to the scene near Forbes with water bombing aircraft providing help from above. With temperatures soaring into the high 30s and dangerous wind gusts, our RFS weren't taking any chances. Yes, it's a good um, early wake up call for us uh, with things so dry at the moment. It was a busy weekend for our firefighters. Just kilometres from Canoundra's silo, a blaze leaves more than 180 hectares of grassland near Nairang Creek, a blackened, charred mess. RFS believe this fire was the result of a careless driver pulling over onto dry grass and sparking a blaze with their car. There's a house just sitting there. Jeez. So burnt within 100 metres of that house. Was a home which was saved thanks to five RFS brigades, support from fire and rescue and a fixed wing aircraft. Just one of many fire fronts keeping the Knobolis RFS busy. 230 hectares, that's a Balabula River, so that's the northern part of the fire. The Millamalong fire started up again, burning through 220 hectares in rocky slopes. Today they got this one under control. But these pictures captured by the RFS helicopter show another fire at Weelong, southwest of Forbes, which has burnt through another 180 hectares. Fire investigators believe this blaze was sparked by a header at harvest. I think people have got to be extremely careful out there, particularly doing anything outside in the outdoors. Um, it's too dangerous. All our brigades will be on alert and uh, we'll be trying to jump on anything that happens on Friday as quickly as we possibly can. Conditions are expected to deteriorate later this week with more hot, dry, windy weather expected to spark up on Friday. Phoebe Moore, Prime 7 News.